comments about our very first videos on inlay, so we're going to take those comments to heart. We've invested in some new cameras and we hope that we can get you even better pictures than what we had before. I'm going to inlay a headstock. And we start with a pattern. And you can see I've already cut some of this out, but you just start with a simple pattern. Then you glue the pattern to your pieces of pearl. And the way that I'll do it is I'll take a piece that I want to cut and I take a look at how my pattern is and I'm just going to glue this piece to a piece of pearl. Now when I look at my pearl, I kind of want to look at how the pearl is because you can see the beautiful color that you can have on this. And this piece of pearl has such a pretty ripple. So what I'm going to do, I'll just take a little drop, a little drop of glue now you can use all kinds of glue. I just use good old fashioned wood glue. This is tight bond. And I'll put a little drop of glue in here. That's about all. And then I just stick that on here. And there. I'm going to let that dry. Now for speed of things, we have some more pieces of pearl already done. Okay, so I have my pieces of pearl that I want to cut. And I'm going to just use the simple, it's a jeweler saw, as you can see. It has a very, very fine blade on it. You might be able to see. I have it set to cut on the downstroke. When you're cutting pearl by hand, you got to really be careful of how you position yourself over the pearl. You must be relaxed. You can't be tight. You don't hold this with a lot of force. This is just a nice, soft, easy feel. Now when I put this in here, you can see I have a hole here. And I'm going to be cutting. And you'll see that my nose is directly above here. I try to keep my shoulder and arm in line so that I keep my blade as square as I can. Now you always lay your blades out and you open up your pack and I'll have them laid out. I can see them because you can expect a couple of these to break. Now when you start cutting pearl you got to work your way into what you want to cut. Now I'm going to cut these two little parts. This is part of a flower pot pattern. I'm working on an old conversion and I got to replace the headstock. So I have to cut the pearl. And the pearl is a little different than the modern one. As you can see, the top of the flower pot is concave, not round. And while it's a little bit smaller, it still has some similarities to the modern one, except that there's cut out in more pieces. I am using solid shell. And this is the way I like to work. I'm going to cut and start right here at the tip. I use my fingernail to help guide my cut and I use a Bosch & Loam Optivisor. They come with a couple of different lenses so that you can match your eyes. The lens is basically a focal point so I have my focal point where I'm comfortable. I normally don't sit this high when I cut pearl but we're doing this for uh, visual so you can see better with the camera. But you watch, I'm going to try to take long strokes, smooth strokes, except that when I want to turn the blade around. So I use my fingernail to get me started. And you can see, I'm just going to follow the line. Now I'm going to come back out here, and i got to turn the blade. So you're going to see me, you can hear me working it. And don't let the blade stop. Now you want to try to hold the pearl down as hard as you can. You don't want the pearl to bounce up and down. That's a good way to break a blade. All right, now I'm going to start again, right here. And I, I want to try to stay on the line. If I'm off a little bit, I'm not going to lose a lot of sleep. 
And you know, my nose is on top of the, the blade. And I gently blow it out. I don't use wax, I don't use anything on my blade. Now I'm going to come across, and you notice I'm going up and down, I'm slowly moving stuff. When I hear the, when I feel the blade getting tight, I go, I back it up a little bit and start again. And I'm constantly watching where my hole is in my board. I don't like cutting into the wood if I don't have to. Now I'm going to start coming up on the other side. And you notice I'm cutting and moving my elbow at the same time. You'll learn how to change blades very quick. Now, you see how I'm holding this? Now I'm getting nearly coming out, so I'm going to hold this well, and I'm going to lean forward and undercut. That way I won't shoot it across the room. Now I have a little bit to work on here to cut, and I'm going to come over here, and now I'm down in my slot, using my fingernail as a guide, and I'm going to make the long line down. And you got to be careful because this is so fragile at this point. Okay, that's one part of the flower. Now that's this part right here. Now I'm going to cut that one. Now when I when I glue my patterns up, I, I'm always trying to look at the, the, the color of my pearl because I'm trying to get it that we, we want flash. We want it to be pretty. At the same token, I don't want to have to cut halfway into the pearl till I'm into my work. Now, right here I got a corner. And I can cut right into that. Long strokes if you can do it. I want to turn the blade around. And I'm actually, when I'm turning this, I'm kind of holding back on the blade a little bit, riding more on the back of the saw. Now I'm going to come up, get the nose. Now the way I hold my saw, it, I'm, I am holding it as lightly as I possibly can. Now I'm going to back it up, and I'm holding the back edge of the, right in the back of the saw, and I'm getting it to turn, oh, and like I told you, this stuff is fragile, and that broke, I didn't, should have looked underneath there, there was a little bit of crap there, but I have a spare ready to go. Again. Just my fingernail to get it set. Now sometimes you can glue two pieces of pearl together and cut double out. And 
and I will do that. But for case of this, I just want to show you cut one piece at a time. Now I want to turn it, you're going to see me just start. Now I want to turn it, you're going to see me just start the same thing again. When you get near the end, you kind of want to keep hold of both pieces, the work and the scrap, because you don't want it to go shooting. Now these can be very fragile, and you saw me break one on the first one. So what I did is I cut these out. Now I'm going to cut the slot, and be, that way I don't have to worry on backing out. I can just cut it down, keep it supported on both sides. All right, almost done. So now you can see everything that I did, I guess you could call it ergonomics, proper posture, staying relaxed. Don't hold this, I'm just holding that a little bit with my thumb. And I'm just trying to keep everything nice and vertical. You saw how I do things nice and smooth. Uh, if you're gonna get into cutting pearl, absolutely fine before you even start cutting just grab a piece of pearl for practice so you can get a feel of how it cuts and what I'll do is this just try to cut a straight line and as you get a feel for it now try making a, a turn okay see how I'm doing that and this is like a, a warm-up before you cut pearl, so you get a feel what's going on. Now, I also need dust. So I'm going to turn that into a dust. Bing! And that's what happens. If you don't hold it, you just saw that pearl dot take a dive. But that's what you want to do. You want to just kind of practice doing that, learn the mechanics of it. Start with simple patterns. Uh, naturally, the bigger ones are the easiest to cut. Uh, and then go from there. Uh, let me show you how to put a blade in. When you put a blade in, you have to look very carefully, but there's some, maybe you can see the teeth. And right now the teeth are pointed away from me. Now they're pointed towards me. Whether you put the upper one in first or the whichever, it doesn't matter. Loosen that up. I'm pushing against the frame. And then, okay, Z flat, I think I tuned it to. Okay, now I want to make a, a tear. So I'm just going to cheat. Now when you get near the end, I'm going to take it right to a corner here where I can pinch that down. I came out. 
There's my teardrop. So now I have my teardrop. That's going to go down here. And all I got to do yet is do my dots. Now the dots, I'm going to admit I cheat and I buy them in. Then I'm going to put this into water. Because I'm going to get the paper off of the pearl. And I have it on a piece of ebony just so that you can see the contrast of what I'm doing. Because we're going to do it next on a piece of Brazilian. Now while this is a different it's a little different in the design, and you'll see the difference here with this pattern. That's the old pattern, and this is more the modern pattern. And you can see this is a little bit more delicate than that. This also has more cutout pieces, and this is a little bit, this is different in here. Here you can see where they actually make more of the bell flower. So this is now going to be getting inlaid into this. And that will be the next project that we're going to do. I'm going to break this down and then we're going to start the inlay process. So we'll be right back.